while, but before you do that, before kayo ma-excite, before nyo uh, tawagin ang mga kamag-anak, why don't we share muna ang ating show for today? I want you guys to click the share button because uh, I do believe that uh, marami mga kasamahan natin, kamag-anak, maaring uh, this is the you know, missing link sa kanilang uh, paghahanap ng purpose in life. So, we're gonna start in a while. Again, uh, kindly click the share button dyan. In fact, uh, uh, wala tayong games ngayon. Ano? So, huwag muna kayo ma-excite. Okay? <laughs> Mamaya, I'll be back in a minute. Uh, kindly share muna ang ating show. And then, uh, I'll see you in a while. Alright, good morning everyone! Kamusta tayo mga daily brad? Nag-excite ba tayo? Every Monday morning, ito na lang ang tambayan natin. Ano? So, na-share na ba natin ang ating show for today? we really like to um, welcome everyone. Alam ko na this is Monday morning event natin na inihintay. Kamusta mga housewife na tapos nang mag, uh, you know, magsaik, maghugas ng pinggan. <laughs> Excited for daily bread this morning. Unang-una, wala kaming makuhang guest. <laughs> Kaya ako na napagtsagaan nyo ngayon. <laughs> okay lang ba? Total, wala naman kayong magagawa. Wala, wala. Ano niya, habit nyo na to. Tatlong ba na natin ginagawa to. But seriously, uh, we wanna break lang muna yung uh, pag-invite natin ng guest. But next week, nako, pambihira. Hindi nyo gugusto mamiyog next week because of our ating guest na merong extraordinary story. So, before tayo mag-start, kumusahin mo natin. Nasa na ba? Ay, where's the link, ate? Pindutin mo lang yung share dyan sa lower left. Sabi ng respond, uh, reply button ng comment section natin. Si Red ba? Nakuha mo na ba yung Bible mo, Red? Alright? Alright, wala mo. <laughs> si Abby, kumusta tayo dyan? Tapos na magluto si Abby. Ano ba niluto nyo? If you're if you cook this morning, ano ba mga niluto? Share niya naman sa ating mga comment section. All right, good morning, Pastor Jeff. Sabi ni Leia. All right, okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Red. Na-share mo na. Shalom, Estelario. Good morning, Pastor Jeff. Ang bihira si Mark Nibera, oh. Ang aking kaibigan. Kamusta tayo dyan? All right, walang... <laughs> Good morning, Master Jeff. Our busy day. Oh, Monday, busy day. Pagpasensya nyo na, ito na kasi day off ko eh. 
Wala tayong makuha eh. <laughs> si Tin Manawis Bacon. Yayamanin. Tin, nalinis mo na ba yung swimming pool nyo? Grabe yung kumari ko na yan. Ang yaman yan. Alright, si Seres. Good morning, Pastor Jeff. Jessica Tabarno. Ayan. Of course, si Abraham Muito. Good morning sa iyo dyan. Ano pa mga niluto nyo? Sulat nyo nga dito. Alright. Si Grace Matinde, sa dami na aming pagkain kahapon, nag-init na ngayon. Pangat siya, pangat. Pangatlong init na to. <laughs> okay, naninon, secretly sa... Okay, yan. Dahil ikaw ang... Alright, beef steak po, pastor. Ang niluto ko, pambihirang sarap nung beef steak, pare. Alright, si Joyce, good morning, watching from Gen 3. Kamusta tayo? Wala pa yung mga taga-New York natin. Hindi ko pa nakikita. Although si Joshua, yan. Sino Joshua to? Yung taga-Canada ba to? Sa mga taga Joshua, o oh, nga, good, more, good evening daw dito. Yan si Joshua, taga-Canada yan. Alright, so, tatrabaho sa, ano yan, Tim Hortons yan. Nando ka pa rin ba? Ang aking kumari, Maricar. Kang, kumusta ka dyan? Saka si Dar. Kamusta tayo? Good morning. Shout out sa mga Lazaro family. Alright, good morning. Ganito lang tayo, magkwento lang tayo. O, si Josh, yun na, ako, nagsumasagot ang mga taga New York. Josh, kumusta dyan sa New York? Kare-kare, ginata ang bilo-bilo. Pambira naman, no? Nasa tati, eh. Bilo-bilo niluluto kami mismo na mga Filipino foods. Alright. Okay, isa ka pang kumari ko sa Laguna, si Weng Peng Abila. Weng, kumusta? Hanggang si Pari Mike. Alright, okay. So si Josh, okay, Tim Hortons pa rin siya sa Canada. Ang isa ko pang kumare, si Shirley Makalintal. Alright, maternal pala. Maternal, Kabal Quinto, good morning sa New York. Mag-asawa po yan, di ko alam. Bakit dalawa pa yata ang ilang gamit nilang screen. Okay, para makakomment sila. Risa Chen, magandang maga sa inyo. From New Jersey, si Tirso Wan. <laughs> Kilala niya si Tirso Wan. Yaan ang lolo ni Tirso Cruz the third. Siya yung one. <laughs> The joke lang. Tears of one, watching from New Jersey. Kamusta dyan? Alright, okay. <laughs> Tears of Cruz, the third. <laughs> okay, member natin yan sa Alam Church natin. Ate Anda, good morning. Mm. Si Donna, kaklasmit ng misis ko, good morning. Don't want David, nagsishare ng mga tao. Okay. Alright, Kat, Pas- uh, Kat Pasqua, good morning from... Saan to si Kat? Shwar, saan yung cut? Shower out? Okay, shout, shout out ako. <laughs> Joe, shower out. Alright, Meg, pambira si Meg, kaklasmate ko yan from Alberta, Canada. Good morning. Good evening sa inyo dyan. Ano? Alright. Saan naman na ito? Marami tayo. Jackson D, salamat sa pinadala mo, pare. Panalo yung milk team mo, pare. Si Jackson D po, yan, sa Dynam Drugs. Good morning. Si Coach Leo Isaac. <laughs> Tagkain lang daw. Alam niyo si Coach Leo, idol ko yan nung Niebra days pa. Bata pa ako nung naglalaro na yan. Okay? Grabe yan si Coach Leo Isaac. Yung misis niyan, si Pia. Grabe magluto yan. Check nyo sa Instagram niya. Okay? Si uh, Pia Isaac, kinakain yung niluluto niyan the best. Okay? Sa pangkumari ko, si Sandra. Ang dami ko kumari. <laughs> Sandra, <laughs> kapatid ni Jackson D. Grabe, dami nyo. Grabe, parang nakatapusan to. Puro kay shout out. Good morning, Maricon. Kumusta tayo? Guys, ako po yung natutuwa every Monday morning. Matthew, nitapan. Kumusta ang benta natin? Malakas ba benta ng real estate ngayon? Saka mga rentals. So pag-pray natin yan. You know, kanina, this morning lang, I just shared about purpose. And I think I want to share that with you this morning. Um, I know we're going to have time for question and answer, pero... I just want to share about purpose. I just felt like marami mga tao because of um, this pandemic, right? Maraming uh, mga naguluhan, right? Nawindang yung kanilang sense of purpose. And uh, direct, share ko lang tong aking screen, okay? And uh, what happened is, direct, let me know pag nakashare na, okay? Okay na ba? Nakashare na? Um, what, what, uh, what's happening is, A lot of people, they're so full of purpose starting 2020. Parang uh, sarap pakinggan, 2020 vision. Uh, you know what? Parang excited lahat. They're so excited to accomplish what God has in store for them. So sa ating mga taga Metro Manila or, or taga Luzon, 
uh, suddenly January, nasa Tagaytay pa ako when it happened, uh, because Taal Volcano Eruption, tara na windang, right? Yung mga plano, especially those people who are in the South, uh, the purpose that you prepared, the, the plans and, and the objectives, the goal for 2020 vision, stuff like that, parang na windang. Our sense of purpose suddenly na derail, right? And sometimes God allows things to happen for a greater reason, right? So, na windang yung purpose natin, na windang yung ating mga plano, and then nakaka, nakakaahon pa lang tayo come February, dumating naman itong pandemic. And we know the rest of the story up until now. We're still experiencing the heat. And um, as much as we want to pursue the purpose we, you know, we uh, thought of noong January for 2020, mga love life, marriage, whatever, uh, I'm supposed to have a wedding ng October sa Tokyo, Japan. Cancel na rin. So, as much as we want to pursue what we planned, but then again, ito may major to. We are all caught off guard. Itong uh, pandemic na to. And all of us were derailed. Uh, akala mo, papalipad na yung karir mo. All of a sudden, naging redundant yung uh, position mo. Akala mo, sure ball na. Pero all of a sudden, uh, the, the the sense of um, hope na wala lahat. Maga, this pandemic has really derailed or uh, talagang nilayo niya tayo to our purpose. And come to think of it, when you talk about purpose, medyo let's go deeper lang. The moment we're born, anybody here, dinamitan ka ng nanay mo at tatay mo ng mga ganyan, yung magiging doktora ka, magiging teacher, right? And yun yung mga goal na magulang mo sa'yo. Gusto kang... Uh, damitan ng kung ano ng mga forma. Ay, magiging doktor ka, di ba? Dahil may bus company kayo, naging doktor ka. Di ba? Pag laki mo, di ba? Sa itbulaga, yan yung mga tanong. What do you want to be when you grow up? Di ba? Yung mga... And there's nothing wrong with that. Well, the moment ka pinangak, pinag-aral ka agad ng nanay mo, two months old ka pa lang, enroll ka na sa preschool. <laughs> Social skills. And then, nag-two years old ka, pinasa ka na sa kinder one, kinder two, galing na para maging owner ka. <laughs> Masyadong competitive nanay mo, kinder, honor, ano? And then, para mapasok ka sa magandang elementary school. Bakit, ma'am? Para maging, eh, ano ka sa high school, maging scholar. O bakit, ma'am? Para sa college, makapasok ka sa Ateneo, Lasal, UP, Matute, kung saan ka mang gusto na nanay mo. O bakit, ma'am? Para pag-graduate mo ng koleyo, makapag-MBA ka. O tapos, ma'am, tapos mag-PH ka. O tapos, ma'am, o, o tapos magtatrabaho ka. Di ba? <laughs> Pinag-aral ka most of your life. And here's, and again, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying huwag ka mag-aral. In fact, mga anak ko, nag, I mean, yan din sinasabi ko. And gusto natin, ang goal ng magulang natin, which is not bad, is for you to finish study so that you can make it in life. So if there's one thing our parents wants us to accomplish is this. Yan na mapapamana ko sa'yo. Makagraduate ka ng kolehiyo, makapagtrabaho ka ng maayos, tumaan sa posisyon mo, Tapos na, yumamang ka. O tapos, eh, pag mayaman ka, makapag-asawa ka ng maganda. <laughs> Kasi, di ba, pag mayaman, kahit hindi ganun kagawa po, makapag-asawa ka ng maganda. Nakita niyo yun sa mga mall? Yung parang, ang ganda ng syota. Oo, mayaman yun. <laughs> sa ma, no? O no, bakit yun? <laughs> so, ang goal na magulang natin is that so that we can make it in life. And I don't see any reason bakit hindi ito maging goal natin. Uh, so, you can make it in life. So that you can pursue the purpose. Now, magkakaproblema lang tayo when the two-letter word, it, you can make it. What is that it? Ano ba yan? The world defines it. More money, more it. The closer to the, to the ladder of success, more it. In fact, ang kulit ng it na yan, yan right? Nagsimula like, ka rin and file, naging supervisory ka, and then maabutan mo na siya, kala mo, that's it. And then, aakit yan, itong ipurso mo ngayon, and then, mapapagod ka, madidepress and all, and the world will cheer you. Just, just do it. <laughs> just do it. And, and again, don't get me wrong, okay? There's nothing wrong with this. It's just that, here's my question, who defines this it. How would you know you made it? Yung mga kaibigan ko dyan sa Canada and sa US, how would you know na you're getting closer to that it? 30 years from now, ayan, may mga bats ako sa science high school, 
30 years or or 10 years from now, magkakaroon ng reunion ng mga batchmates natin ng high school or maybe in college. And they're gonna hold it in one of the ballrooms here, maybe in the Philippines, sa uh, Makati, Shangri-La, who knows. And all your friends, mga classmates mo, naghihintay sa lobby yan, they're assessing you. Tinitingnan nila, saba bumaba, nakaangkas ka ba sa motor? <laughs> Nauwi bumaba si Jeff, nakaangkas, o naka-BMW ka, right? Ina-assess nila ano yung bilong suot mo, o naka-Rolex, o naka-Timex. They're gonna assess you, sad to say, on the externals, whether you made it or not. They're gonna ask for your calling cards, mo especially tayo mga men. We define our existence by our, you know, accomplishments. Kaya pag pakilala mga lalaki, what's your name? Uh, I'm Marvin. Oh, ikaw, ano name mo? Uh, I'm Jeff, all right? And, and, and the second thing that we're gonna ask, saan ka connected, right? Saan ka nag-work? Uh, that's just our nature. Parang men, we're expected to accomplish. And, and, and pag wala kang trabaho, parang you don't feel like you have a purpose or worthless ka. And that's why... Um, if you don't know who defines this it, we're going to have a problem. Because something that's not defined, we're going to end up pursuing something that is very parang elusive or worse, non-existent. Alam mo yun, um, puso ko ng pursue. Ano, malapit na ako sa it na yun. Pag naging manager ako, and then you became a manager, maging uh, uh, assistant director, and then naging director ka na, maging director, and then naging director ka na, maging BP, and then naging BP ka na, patas ng patas ang BP mo dahil stress ka na sa dami trabaho, and then maging, price, maging president, and then what? And then, what do you do, sabi ni Stephen Kobe, what do you do if the ladder you're climbing is leaning against the wrong wall? You've been climbing and climbing ladder, only to find out that the ladder is leaning on the wrong wall. Akit ka ng akit, pag akit mo, buti kung mararating mo yung tuktok ng, ng ceiling, ng, ng, ng roof, only to find out, oh my gosh, hindi pala to tamang wall. I've been climbing a wrong wall. Pagdating mo sa taas, wala rin ang pamilya mo, wala rin ang anak mo. All those meaningful relationships were sacrificed at the altar of success. A lot of us will be climbing the wrong wall and we're not going to know it. We're going to die. We're going to end up in the hospital, worse, in the cemetery, only to find out we've been climbing the wrong wall. I know that, Pastor. I pray for dying people. Hello. That's part of my job. And every time I pray for dying people, they will always have some regrets. Wala yung pamilya, wala yung anak, wala yung asawa. And they are filthy rich and yet they climb the wrong ladder leaning on the wrong wall. That's my hope and prayer for you today, that as we pursue life, as we pursue our purpose in life, I hope and pray this two-letter word, that it will be well-defined. You know what a mirage is? Hindi yung Mitsubishi mirage. You know what a mirage, right? Yung uh, uh, mirage is a, yung parang yung kalye na basta pagka nag-drive ka and, and, and Parang hindi mo siya maabutan. You're driving and, and the more you get closer to that wet pavement, lumalayo siya. Because it's just a mirage. It's just a, it's just a, uh, ano to? Uh, a reflection, okay? Nung sunlight dun sa pavement. Hindi siya totoong basa. And the more mo binibilisan yung sasakyan mo, the more mo siya hindi aabot. And some of us have been pursuing a mirage isang Rolex na lang, isang Rolex pa, isang Panerai pa, and we've been pursuing, pursuing stuff only to find out we're just you know, pursuing something as, like a mirage. Isang sex na lang, isang sex na lang, isang boyfriend, isang girlfriend na lang, isang, and it's a never-ending pursuit, and now, nagsawa ka na sa opposite sex, now, same sex naman, and, and, and hindi, confused na confused ka na. Ang dami lalaki nagloko sa akin, and then, sige, babae na nga lang, and you're having the same sex relationship, and then you still don't feel satisfied. You know why? Because we're pursuing a wrong it. We're pursuing a wrong purpose. Now, let me ask you this question if you're still not convinced. How much more will you say, okay, I have enough? Tell me. Sabi natin, ilan? One million na lang, you'll say, enako. How much more will you need to say, okay, I'm content. I'm gonna focus on my kids and my children now because or, or my, my family more because I'm content. How much millions do you need pa so that you'll know 
okay, I've reached the it. How many more BMWs? How many more houses or condos? So that you'll know that this is it. Tell me because I don't know what, what purpose are we pursuing. Now, having said that, now, listen up. I don't want you to end up like those people that some people that I prayed dying and full of regrets. Walang relationship sa asawa, walang relationship sa anak, um, aming negosyo, pero the people closest to him are the people lang ginagamit siya o nagagamitan sila. We want to pursue the right it, isn't it? Ama, and today, I'm just going to share a short exhortation lang about how to find purpose in life. When you talk about purpose, the, the creator, your creator, or anything that's created, eh, has a creator. Wala yung sumulput lang. Okay? Don't believe those um, atheists and evolutionists na you just came out of a nothing or a single cell, nag-evolved, naging unggoy, and, and here you are, naging tao ka. Hindi ako naniniwala na galing tayo sa unggoy. Tingnan mo yung katabi mo. Kung may katabi ka, tingnan mo. Sabihin mo nga, u u a a u <laughs> Oferan mo nga yan, oferan mo nga yan ng, ano, ng uh, saging. Okay? You know, every time there's a creation, there's a creator. And only the creator gets to define the purpose of his creation. And any creation used outside its intended purpose will end useless eventually, right? So remember my illustration. I got this from my uh, fellow pastor, uh, Pastor Joey. As simple as paper clip, mayroon siyang creator. Somebody invented, thought of this piece of wire to make it a paper clip. And the purpose of a paper clip is correct. I-type nyo yan. <laughs> to clip papers. Pero sometimes, ginagamit natin yung, you know, pansunod ng mga lak, pang hininunuli ng mga ibang uh, mga matitindi ang eardrums, right? So, ginamit mo siya outside its intended purpose na deform siya, right? And eventually, it will no longer function as a paper clip because you use it outside its intended purpose. So let me ask you this question. How many deformed lives you know are existing today? Ilan? Ako, top of mind. May mga tito ko sa probinsya, may mga members kaming kakilala from church. Their lives have been deformed because just like the, this paper clip, they're pursuing that it outside its intended purpose. A paper clip was made to clip paper, and when you deform it to use for outside its intended purpose, then it becomes deformed and it will no longer function the way it was intended to be. And how many lives have been shoes? and abused, and now rendered useless. How many people do you know na sayang, may potensyal, ang galing, ang talino, ang ganda, ang guapo, galing sa magandang pamilya, pero nag-dugs. Ginamit yung position sa, 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 sa politika para mag-abuso ng mga pidaf at mag-abuso ng mga ng pondo ng bayan, and now their lives were useless. They may be rich, but you can see that their purpose revolves around that it, pursuing and climbing that ladder outside its intended purpose, only to find that it's leaning against the wrong wall. Guys, let me tell you something. I don't want you to end up like this paper clip, deformed, you're about to die, and you have no purpose in life. Because the creator gets to define the purpose of his creation. Now, let's jump to the verse that I'm going to use. In Isaiah 43, 7, it says there, everyone, okay, sino to? Yung katabi mo, ayan, yung kasama mo dyan sa comment section. Everyone who is called by my name, and here's the, the thing here, whom I created, okay, God is our creator. Hindi po tayo lumabas out of nowhere. Hindi tayo lumabas sa sinapupunan na nanay natin by accident. Uh, can I tell you something? Some of you here, you feel like you're an accident. 
na-rape ang nanay mo, hindi mo nakita yung tatay mo, um, uh, hindi ka pinlano o FW tatay mo, umuwi once a month, once a year, umuwi, nabuntis ang nanay mo. Or maybe yung nanay mo is a single mom, have a friend na nabuntis sa edad na 14, okay? And <laughs> nakikinig siya ngayon. Maybe you think you're just an accident by your parents. I'll tell you something. They may have not planned you, but God has planned you. You may be an accident in their eyes, but never to God. You were created for a purpose. So, saksak mo sa baga mo yan. In English, suck this to your bags. Okay? Saksak mo sa baga mo to na you're created for a purpose. Hindi ka, uh, uh, hindi ka, uh, ano yung sinasabi mo, putok sa buho, hindi ka, uh, hindi sa hindi ka pinag-isipan, pinamigay ka sa lolo't lola mo, iniwan ka sa labas, you don't even know your parents. They may have not planned you, but God has planned your, your, your coming to the world. In fact, He created you. And God is a God of transformation. He can transform you, right? He's a turnaround expert. Now look up here, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. Sabi natin kanina, the creator gets to define the purpose of his creation. Do you have any idea how the telephone was birthed? This was one of the first diagram of Alexander Graham Bell. I mean, he was kind of cutting on his mind. Of course, na, na developed na mga radio and all the time. And Alexander Graham Bell was thinking, I want to create a device where somebody from the other room can talk to the other side of the room using this piece of food and, and wire. He, he had that in his mind. In fact, if you look at the diagram, that's how he thought of that. So there's this thing called telegraph and all that like, evolved into a telephone. It was on his mind. And the inventor, Graham Bell, gets to define the purpose of that thing. Pag pinakita sa atin yan, if we were present during that time, we won't even know what the thing is. Ano ba yan? Paperweight na may wire? Sambayan ba yan? Or ano ba to? Parang ipapalupot mo. Gusto mo mag-suicide. What's the thing? But ilalagay mo sa tenga mo? Ano ba yan? Parang ipututusok mo ba dyan yung lollipop mo para maging lollipop? Ano, ano ba to? No, sasabihin niya ng creator, that's a telephone. It's intended to be a communication device. Wow. Grabe, no? Because he's the creator. Now, here's the, the thing. Listen up. The Bible says, so whether you eat or drink, ito na yung eat natin. Whatever you do, do it all. There's the it. There's the it. Do it. The it that you're pursuing, right? Do it all for the glory of God. Right? <laughs> Whatever you do, ito nga daw yung aso ko. Bagong panganak, okay? So, ito, do it all for the glory of God. Grabe ito. So, guys, look up here. Look up here, mga kabrad. We've been asking, Jeff, ano yung it na dapat namin i-pursue? Ano, magpapastor kami? Magmamadre ko? Magpapare ako? Ano ba ako, Jeff? Mag-active ba ako sa church namin? Ano, am I gonna do full-time sa church? No? Sabi rito, Whatever you do, you're a teacher, you're a barista, dyan sa Tim Horton, dyan sa Canada, you're, you're a hotelier sa New York, you're a housewife dyan sa Gentry, you're a, a, a manicurista dito sa Kainta. Whatever we're doing, there's the it. Do it all for the glory of God. Whatever you do, do it all. So, you, you're gonna ask me, Jeff, Hindi ko pa rin mag-gets. Ano yung, ano yung gagawin ko? Ano yung, ano yung do it all ko? Ano yung dapat kong gawin? Well, it's simple. I said kanina sa vlog ko, whatever we're doing, you ask those two questions. Will it glorify God? And will it, will it love other people? Will it show love to other people? Kahit po ano ginagawa natin, if you're a janitor, is it glorifying to God? Eh, janitor ka, nag-uwi ka ng mga gamit dun sa office. Di ba? It's like glorifying to God. 
or engineer ka, nag-uwi ka ng mga spare na mga excess na gamit dyan sa, sa, sa shop. So, ang una mong tanong, am I doing this out of love for God and out of love for people? So, I guess that's the challenge, okay? Whatever we do, are we doing it for the glory of God? Are we doing it for God's glory? It's a challenge. Because if you want to really do it for the glory of God, do it all. Ang question mo lagi, Lord, are you pleased to what I'm going to do? Am I compromising my faith? Because a lot of people, they draw their worth and value, they draw their sense of purpose from their accomplishments, kahit na baluktot ang kanilang mga prinsipyo sa buhay. It's not going to be glorifying to God. You're going to end up you know, filthy rich, but without purpose. There's no sense of satisfaction. There's no sense of parang sense of purpose. Guys, life is short. We're going to talk about that some other time. Come to think of it, when you die, your life will be encapsulated by a dash. Tama ba? Dalawang dates sa tombstone mo. Okay? Yung birth date mo, saka yung death date mo. And between those two dates, is a dash. Ganyan lang kaliit normally yun. Ha? Ganyan lang. Ayan. Ganyan lang kaliit. Your life will be encapsulated by those dash. Your whole life. Between your birth and your death, your whole life will be uh, concluded lang by that dash. And that's why I just want to challenge you. Right? I just want to challenge you. If you're really so driven, that's great. You're driven. You want to pursue God. You want to pursue career, that's great. But I guess you want to check first, am I pursuing God? Am I, what if, if, is what I'm doing honoring to God? And then is that loving people? And the whole commandment was summed up to this, right? Love God and love others. So as I end, let me just encourage you, guys, finding God is the starting point of finding our purpose. You want to know your purpose? Um, I guess most of us, listen up, mga kabrad, this pandemic is a good reboot. Okay? This is a perfect reboot to all of us. Because God has somehow put a parang, alam mo, laruan natin nung araw yung Yung pag nagsulat ka kasi tataas mong gano'n, yung kulay itim, bilib-bilib tayo nung araw. Uy, nawala, di ba? Clean slate na naman. Di ba? Susulatan mo nung, pa, nung, nung parang pa, yung lapis na gawala sa kahoy, kulay pula yun madalas, di ba? Tapos pag inamat mong gano'n, wala na. I think it's the same thing with us. God is allowing us to have a clean slate. God is allowing us to have a, a, a new beginning with this pandemic. And I hope and pray that as we pursue God, as we reboot our purpose this pandemic, I hope and pray is that we're going to find God. We're going to default to God. Because finding God in the midst of the pandemic, that would be the best thing that's going to happen to you. Whether my work on ngayon or wala, my hope and prayer is that you're going to find God. And in finding God... He will teach you all things. He will guide you into all things. The Holy Spirit will be your guide into finding the very purpose of your existence. And, and as I end, Billy Brad, my guys, the best life lived is a life lived for God's glory. Uy, ganun. Itweet mo yon. Itweet mo yon. All right. The best life lived is a life lived for God's glory. That at the end of the day, when your life is defined by that dash, sasabihin ng mga taong dadalaw sa puntod mo, that's my dad, that's my mom, that's my dad, that's my lolo, that's my lola, that's my daughter, that's my son. She or he lived life to the fullest because he lived his life for God's glory. So whatever you do, do it all. For the glory of God. Amen? All right. Na, na ano ko doon? Na-excite ako ro. Direct. Stop screen ko na. 
at uh, huminto na rin yung akong tumahol. <laughs> so, we really want to thank you this morning for bearing with me. Alam nyo, pinag-practice lang ko lang kayo. Isishare ko sa isang group ko. Hindi, joke lang. Okay? I just want to really, parang it's burning in my heart eh. the other day pa. Eh. Sabi ko, ano kaya yung ma-share ko this Monday? And um, I just, I'm, I I think, uh, I don't know, natamay lang siguro kayo. Maybe that's that's God's message for me because I've been really contemplating, Lord, why did you allow things to happen? Regardless whether God allows this pandemic or or, or kagagawan to ng tao, kagagawan ng Diyos, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, God's purpose will prevail. He will accomplish His purpose in the midst of this pandemic. So my hope and prayer, listen up guys, my hope and prayer is that we're going to find God in the midst of this, you know, pandemic. And we're going to we're gonna accomplish His purpose. Some of you, mga bata pa, some of you naman, may edad na katulad ko, 36. <clears throat> Waistline ko pala yun. Some of you, uh, medyo middle na of, of your life. I hope and pray that uh, you're going you're gonna to see God in the midst of everything. You're going to pursue God. You're going to find God in the midst of what's happening in our lives. All right. So, there you have it. Ang haba na naman ng huru ko, Ate Bell. Sige. Um, okay. Tama ka doon, Bev. Everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Pati si Chewy, praise the Lord. Uh, any question, I would love to hear from you guys. Any violent reaction, I want to hear from you. Any Anything that will add to what I said, please comment on the section below. And 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 maybe if there are questions about purpose, about life, about whatever, okay, mga kadrama sa buhay, I don't have all the answers. Pag hindi ko talaga kaya, I, I, I'm going to get back to you. I'm going to call some friends, okay? So, but nevertheless, if you have questions about anything that I shared, please comment on the section below. We're going we're gonna to end, ano? Madali tayo ngayon magtatapos. Wala tayong guess eh. So, alam ko. Okay. Joshua Bar Bar Bartolo from Dubai, UAE. Good morning sa inyo dyan. Alright. Direct, may mga question na ba tayo? If you feel like it's too personal, you can message us. If you PM us, para hindi naman na, uh, ano, um, makilala kayo. If you wanna stay anonymous, you can PM. And, um, Yon, Arlan Silva, thank you. Okay, my question. How about po yung fruit of wisdom na kinainiib na pinakain niyo kaya daw? Okay, Tinonica. Ito lang, malalalim na to. Gusto ko lang drama ng buhay. Si Arlan, may mga fruit pa iib, okay? Alright. Hindi saan na ginawa ni God din. Eh di happily ever after ito. Okay. Maganda yung tanong nyo, ha? Okay. Tama tong tanong ni Arlan. Question. About po, okay? Yung fruit of wisdom na kinain ni Eve at pinakain niya kay Adan, created po yun ni God, okay? Okay, kasi kung di sana ginawa ni God yung fruit, edi sana happily ever after na sila. I'll try to answer this top of mind lang and I'm sure may mga better answers dito and I'll get back to you kung hindi ka masatisfy. But here's the thing. When God created everything, it was good, right? But then again, He created someone by the name of Adam and Eve, and this time it was not just good, it was very good. In fact, we're the only creation that was created in His image and likeness. Kahit gano kakyut ang, uh, kahit gano kakyut ang Shih Tzu, okay, hindi siya mapupunta sa eternity because wala siyang uh, body, soul, and spirit. So we're the only creation okay, that He created in His own image and likeness na merong body, soul, and spirit. Ibig sabihin, He intended to be with us throughout eternity. Nag-gets mo, Arlan? Arlan, okay? So, hindi siya na-create na parang hanggang dyan lang kayo sa lupa, bibigyan ko yun ng 100 years and then you're done. No, no, no. With human being, He wants to create someone that will have a relationship with Him. In fact, a genuine relationship with Him. Now, if you want to have a genuine relationship, Okay, you must have a choice. Okay, because for love to be genuine, you must have a choice. Otherwise, ang kinrate ni God, robot. 
Okay? If ipoprogram kita, i-worship mo ko all the rest of your life. Adam and Eve, i-worship mo ko. Yes, God, i-worship ka namin. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Sana robot na lang yung rate niya. Tama ba, Alan? Kung ano. Kaya lang, anything na hindi nakakapag-decide kung i-worship ka or hindi is not a genuine relationship. For example, case in point, may isang dirty old man na may shota na koleyala na 20 years old. And then this dirty old man, 80 years old na, and then binibigay niya lahat, condo, kotse, BMW, uh, lahat, Louis Vuitton, Pero may at siyang bodyguard. Kasi wala siyang tiwala. Di ba? Wala siyang tiwala kasi baka lalaki ka eh. So, alam mo na because wala siyang freedom to do what she wants, that's not genuine love. Case in point, another case in point, meron ka anak na five-year-old, kunyari Arlen. Sabi mo, anak, don't go out ha. I'm gonna go to 7-Eleven. Huwag mong bubuksan yung pinto. Do you love me? Yes, Dad, I love you. Oh, huwag mong bubuksan ito. And then paglabas mo, kinandado mo rin sa labas. And then yung anak mo, <laughs> bubuksan yung pinto. Eh, nilak naman pala ni Dad. Dabo. So because you don't trust him, okay, there's a genuine relationship pagka walang choice ang isang tao. You get the point? Now, bakit may fruit? Actually, the fruit is more of a test. He placed the fruit and it's a test for Adam and Eve. Will you Will you believe my word? I said, don't eat from the tree. And, and, and the goal is not just, I mean, hindi naman dead, hindi naman si God uh, kill joy. There are plenty of fruit-bearing trees. There are like millions of fruit-bearing trees. Except that, don't eat that. It's like aka ni Henry C. Sinabi sa'yo, sa'yo na itong buong mawarina, pero sa basement 5, meron dong pink na cotton candy. Huwag mong kakainin yun. Ha? Ang ino naman puntahan yung pink na cotton candy. Because Adam and Eve, they were, uh, uh, you know, lure sila na serpent. God is hiding something from you. Hindi kayo mahal ng God nyo because this is so good and we need withhold niya sa inyo. The fruit is actually a test. Will you believe my word that when I told you you're gonna die, will you believe my word? Kaya nung tinatanong si Adan, where are you? Um, we're hiding because we're afraid because we're naked. Remember sinabi ni God, who told you? Sino nagsabi? It's as if God is saying, kanino na kayo nakikinig ngayon? Who told you that you're naked? So the fruit, Arlan, is not something na para lang isan wala nang sin ngayon kung wala yon then 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 there's no free will kung hindi wala yung fruit the fruit was there for god to test them will you believe my word that when you eat of that fruit you're going to die or or you're not going to believe me and apparently our forefathers Adam and Eve die at uh, uh, failed the test they failed through one man Adam sin and the rest of humanity inherited and sin. But then the last Adam, Jesus Christ, you know, redeem us. Ang galing niya, no? So Arlan, kailan yung fruit because it's a way to test this Adam and Eve, will you believe my word? And apparently they failed. So they were cast out of the Garden of Eden because it's a sign of grace as well, but it's another story because they're sinful if they're going to the our fruit, which is the tree of life, they're going to end up sinful for the rest of their lives. So they were cast out of the Garden of Eden out of grace so that they will not taste the other fruit. Otherwise, they're going to end up sinful for the rest of their lives. And, and, and ituloy ko na, total tinanong mo na, na to Arlan, did you know that they made a, 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 a leaf, so uh, out of a leaf, okay, a fig tree leaf, they they covered their shame. Tama? They they sue, the Bible says they sue fig leaves to cover their shame. Yun yung unang leaves, Levi's. Okay? Tinakpan nila yung kahihiyan nila. But did you know before they leave the Garden of Eden, God told them, remove that, I'm gonna change that. God changed that, that leaves to a garment of skin. Meaning to say, God needed to kill an animal to produce that, that skin, right? God shed an animal's blood to cover their shame and guilt. Because as I said, God, 
yung kasing leaves, mangunglunto yung leaves, lurupok, after two days, you try to cover your shame na naman. But I'm gonna call it with something that will last. In fact, it's a foreshadowing of what is about to do thousands of years after that one day, the perfect Lamb of God will be crucified at the cross and His blood will cover our shame and guilt once and for all. Grabe si Lord, ano? Pare, puti na itanong mo yan, Arlan. Because look up here, for those of you who's trying to cover your shame and guilt by accomplishment, you're trying to cover your, your shame and guilt by doing good works, you can't. God's one and only Son, John 3.16, Jesus Christ, shed His blood on the cross 2,000 years ago and to cover our shame and guilt so that we will be guiltless, so that we will be righteous. Grabe si Lord. Pare, ganun kakamahal ni Lord. He allowed His Son's blood to be shed on the cross so that you and me will be saved. Praise God. Thank you, Arlan, for asking that. So, Arlan, yun lang ang purpose nun. Kung wala yun, hindi na, hindi na test Abraham, uh, ni, ni Adam at ni Eve that they want to be God because they want to be God. How can you make sure that the, the, the purpose you are seeing is indeed God's plan? Especially when you feel the enemy just lurking around, just try to have a deeper relationship with our Father. Well, thank you, Kyla, for asking that. Of course, we have some parameters to check. Number one, is it in line with the Word of God? Some people, I, I'm just counseling someone. Sabi niya, Pastor, kasi yung kalive-in ko, iniwanan ako, eh, uh, iningi ko siya kay Lord, alam kong bigay siya ni Lord. Sabi ko, paano magiging bigay ni Lord yung someone na you've been living in for the past 13 years? Ah, if that's from God, you, you should have ended up being married legally, you know, and having a relationship with God and with one another. So, so yung tanong mo, Kaila, how would you know if it's the will of God? The Bible says, by the renewing of your mind, you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. The renewing of your mind is reading the word. Balawan mo yung utak pa. Masyado ng worldly minsan mga utak natin. Masyado worldly stuff driven by, by worldly uh, uh, desire. And then sabi sa Bible, do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but by the renewing of your mind. I-sanitize mo yan. I-brainwash mo yung brain mo by the Word of God, guided by the Holy Spirit, and then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is. Ito bang lalaki na to? Ito bang babae na to? Will ni Lord. So check mo. Does he fear the Lord? Eh gusto niya, sex ang habol sa'yo, girlfriend ka pala. Most likely, hindi yan will ni Lord. Layuan mo nila laki niya kung sex lang habol sa'yo, pare. Mare, para. So, so, unang parameter, is it aligned to the Word of God? Number two, seek God's people's advice. Look for godly men and women. I mean, talk to your pastor, talk to your victory group leader, talk to your spiritual leader, talk to your priest, talk to your to the nuns, yung mga madre. Just seek godly advice. Before you know it, kasi minsan pagka tayo lang nagdi-decide, ano tayo eh, yung pronation natin, ano niya, one-sided, gusto mo na yung decision mo, eh. gahanap ka na lang ng, ng damay. Huwag kang hingi ng advice sa mga jologs din, ano, sa mga walang Diyos. Ang advice din ng maluktot. Most like, pare, tama yan, iinom na lang natin yan. Tama yan, iwanan mo yung misis mo, kulit niya, nagpapa-under ka, ano kala niya, hindi na talaga, meron tayong babaeng bago doon. So, so uh, seek godly advice. Sabi sa Bible, with the uh, with advice of many, uh, success is assured. So, uh, keep looking for people who will, you know, give you godly wisdom. So, first parameter, then, is it is it aligned with the Word of God? Number two, um, uh, seek godly counsel. And third, just, just pray hard. I mean, pray and ask the Holy Spirit to shed light, right? All right. Magandat, malino po, Pastor. God will not stray from being good. Okay. So, si God, hindi niya kukontrahin yung word niya. So, finances, gusto mong mag-easy money. No, pastor, tataya ako sa loto. Pagka nanalo naman ako, magta-tights ako. Malamang hindi ka tumama sa loto. Malabo yan, pare. Unang-una, hindi ka kutsaba si Lord. God is not a God of chances. So, kung gusto mong umaman sa loto, malamang hindi will ni Lord yan. Okay? Uh, sabi sa Bible, an, uh, a money quickly gain will not be blessed at the end. 
but he who gathers money little by little makes it grow. So may, may purpose kaya dapat dahan-dahan na na ano yung uh, yung wealth because it produces a muscle in us to trust in God. All right. Yes, all right. Kaila Inkarnasyon, okay ba yun? Yeah. Thank you, Lilian, for supporting my, my answer. Any any question pa? Kinagdahan ako sa mga tanong itong mga kabrad natin. Ilan naman? Ayan na naman. Tui! <laughs> all right. Okay. Hello, Pastor. Question of is the Holy Trinity po a perfect model illustration of relationship of husband and wife with regard to authority, voluntary submission? Well, out at a marriage seminar one time, ano? I think kailangan din natin yan. Okay. For that question, I think the best model, okay, ano muna tayo sa marriage. Very, I don't know if I'm going to answer that question, but I'm going to share lang about marriage. Okay. A uh, few years ago, our Congress was filing for a law for an easier dissolution of marriage. Okay, sabi nila, and the reason is a lot of people, a lot of married couple are no longer happy. Okay, so they're pushing okay for an easier um, dissolution of marriage because a lot of marriages or people are no longer happy. Now I'll tell you something. The purpose of marriage is not for you to be happy, but for you to be holy. Uulitin ko. May kumurap eh. Okay? Yung isa doon kumurap. Nakikin ko eh. Yung kahit na picture lang kumurap. The goal of marriage is not to be happy, but to be holy. If you want to be happy, mag-alaga ka ng labrador or something. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sabi nila, gusto ko na lumaki sa tahimik, mag-aasawa ko. Oh my gosh, gusto mo lumaki sa tahimik sa simintero ka tumira o something. I mean, it's not the goal of marriage. The goal of marriage is not for you to be happy. Now, if in the process of being holy, naging happy ka, well, that's good. But the primary role is not to be happy, but to make your partner to be holy. That's why the the as a church, sabi sa Bible, we are being transformed from glory to glory. We are being sanctified. Pag in tayo ni Jesus, we are the bride of Jesus, right? The church. And we are being sanctified when we, were, when we are offered finally to God. We are His bride and we are holy. We are being made holy. So if you're married, don't aspire to be happy primarily. But how to be holy? How to be a godly husband to your wife? How to be a godly wife to your husband? The goal is for you. It's like a triangle, not trinity. God is in the top. And the husband and wife, the goal is not for you to be closer to one another. Mali minsan eh. Ang goal ko maging close ako sa wife ko. Mali. The goal is for you to be closer to God. Your wife is to be closer to God. And the more you get closer to God, the more you're being closer to one another. Nagigets nyo? But the goal is not to be closer to one another. The goal is to be closer to God and in doing so, you'll be closer to one another. So I guess... A lot of marriages fail because they want to be happy. At pag hindi mo na meet yung happiness ko, I'm out of this. Hindi na ako masaya sa'yo. Ayoko na, hanap na ako ng ibang asawa. Hindi na ako masaya sa'yo. Ayoko. Hindi mo na ako nabibigyan ng pera, ng Louis Vuitton, ng ano, hindi na tayo makatravel. Hanap ako ng ibang lalaki. Hindi na ako masaya sa'yo. Guys, single people, if you want to be happy, mag-alaga ka ng Labrador or Shih Tzu. But don't get married. Just to be happy. Because a lot of single people nowadays, they're looking for Mr. Right only to find out or Miss Right. Ingat kayo sa mga ganyang Mr. Right or Miss Right. Usually first name yan, always. <laughs> Look up here. The goal is not to find the perfect person. The goal is not to find the right person, but how to be the right person. It's not looking, but being. Look up here. Very important to single people. The goal is not to look for the right. The goal is to be the right person. So if you're a single guy, don't look for Miss Right. The goal is to be the Mr. Right for that woman. Don't have sex with her until you say, I do. Honor her, respect her, honor mo yung parents niya. Magsipag ka ng trabaho para di ka mapagiging pala mo ng biyanan mo. So your goal is how to be a godly man for this girl so that pag napangasama mo na, you're not looking for Miss Right, you are being Mr. Right. So the goal is not to be, to find the right person, but to be the right person. 
Does that answer your question? Sorry kung malayo, pero that's just my few thoughts on marriage. Pass your question. Sometimes I ask myself, why are there people killing, raping, abusing children? Does God allow that? What does it teach us? I hope these children have... Well, you know what, Jel? This is a broken world. This is a fallen world. Sin is in this world. And... Um, Men have free will. I told you, kinagat ni Ebat Adan yung fruit. So men and women, humanity can do whatever they feel like doing, but bear in mind, there's a consequence to every action that we do. We can choose the sin, but not the consequence. So when people start raping and killing, they're going to be accounted for those things that they're doing. And that reason why, as Christians, as, as, uh, as the one who fears the Lord, God transform us from the inside out. He changed our very nature because if you're angry with someone, that's like murder in the eyes of God. Because the difference between murder and, and anger is opportunity. Yung galit mo, even the opportunity, walang tao, may baril ka, nasa isang island ka, you're gonna kill that person. Yung galit na galit ka, napupuyos yung galit mo towards someone, kaya mo lang mula, hindi mo patay kasi walang opportunity. But given the opportunity, you want to... So, so, same thing, we're all sinful and thanks be to God, He transformed our self, our nature, so that we will become a new creation. Kaya ang goal, Jel, is really to share the gospel to the people because they're going to be transformed from the inside out. So they're going to be rapists, they're going to be murderers, but you don't want to be lined up with those people because nakakadred yung eternity ng mga tao na yun in hell. You don't want to be in that group. And those people who've been wronged, I know God is just. God is, you know, He's a God of justice, whatever that is. Um, I believe God will honor whatever yun ang yari sa kanila. Alright. Any question? Yung mga taga-abroad natin, natulog na ba itong mga, mga nasa Amerika, Canada, Europa natin? <laughs> Sabi ni Joshua, wala ka tahibi ka sa kasal. Pag tumahimik si Miss, matakot ka. Okay? Kasi may kasalanan ka. <laughs> Joshua, kinasal ka lang, yabayabang ka na. Alright. Sabi ni Pagipo, okay lang, ba? okay lang po mag-expect ako ng appreciation sa husband ko. Sometimes super lazy niya. And insensitive. Well, as I said, ano, um, we cannot change people. Just keep praying for people. Um, sabi sa Bible, uh, a believing wife sanctifies a non-believing husband and, and, and same thing with the husband then. So, if your husband is not a Christian or maybe Christian or nalalamig na, uh, there are ways how to create intimacy uh, in marriage and kiss exclusivity. Baka minsan tayo rin, sobrang Korea novela, sobrang luto, sobrang bata, puro si Junjun, -Jun, si, si Leng Leng, puro na lang ng mga bata, bata, bata. Tapos, ayan naman, sobrang focus. O minsan talaga may mga passive na husband, puro ML, puro Dota, puro, puro Netflix ang alam. So, pa-disciple mo yung asawa mo, ano, pag, ano, <laughs> Aisha. Uh, uh, that's why we need to walk with, with people, with godly men. That's why we push people to join a small group because in having a small group, then you, you'll have a you'll have wisdom on how to run a marriage. So, uh, Aisha, just talk to your husband. Sabihin mo kung ano yung nafe-feel mo, you know what, I don't feel like love anymore pagka ganito ka, pag sinasabi mo to, pag ganyan, ganyan. Hindi ko nafe-feel yung ginagawa mo. Parang before, I love natin every hour, ngayon, every year na lang. Yung isang senior citizen na kausap ko, sabi niya, um, kailan niyo po sinabi I love you sa misis niyo? Nung kasal namin, 50 years ago, Hindi niyo na inulit. Sabi niya, eh wala namang pagbabago eh kung kung may nabago, I'll inform her. <laughs> so wag mong gayahin 'yon. Sabi mo ay siya sa asawa mo, ngayon gayahin 'yon. I, I, I sabihin niya na, na mahal ka niya. So, sabihin mo lang, just talk to him, wala namang mawawala, all right? Maybe last last question. In fact, you can still uh, uh, throw those questions and, and maybe I'll answer you through uh, uh, chat or PM. So, um, do we have another question, direct?
Mm. Amor. Do we tolerate a person who doesn't respect God, belittle the people, who doesn't support Him, who doesn't respect women? Well, for one, the Bible commanded us, do not be weary of doing good, right? For in the proper time, you'll reap the harvest of righteousness. So, but then again, doing we, God has given us also common sense, all right? Kung abusive and then may mga on na talagang uh, kina-challenge ka lang para magkasala and make your union challenge sa'yo minsan, you're still, uh, mm, that's still your battle. Pag na-agitate ka, medyo lumalabas yung pagka-demon mo and all. So, meron ding verse Bible na talking about divisive person, um, uh, uh, in church, sabi, warn them once or warn them twice para next time had nothing to do with them. So there are people na divisive when it comes to uh, faith. Ito yung mga taong pinadala ni Satanas para manggulo lang, may mga kulto na nangungulit lang, na ipagdebate. Our goal is not to debate. Our goal is to share God's love. So whenever someone is trying to debate with you with regards to theology, mahalin mo na lang. I mean, si Jesus... Wala siyang problema makipag-debate. But then again, he uses love because uh, the Bible says it's your love that compels us. So if there are uh, uh, instances where these people are causing you to sin and it's your challenge, it's your battle, so might as well have nothing to do with them. Siguro pag malakas ka na, then go back to them and share God's love. So don't, don't go to their arena. Our goal is not to debate with these people, but to love them, just show them love. All right. I guess uh, that's it for now. I, I really want to thank you guys for being with me this morning. Alam ko, uh, it's been our parang a great time. Hopefully, we learned something about purpose and some more questions and answer nothing. Feel free to still shoot that question. I still gonna answer that. Um, uh, pagka maluwag yung time. And also, please tune in next week. Hopefully, uh, uh, na namin. We'll be having a great uh, guest na kilala, kilala nyo because kung kayo nakatune in unang panahon sa mga radio station, alright, ating guest po uh, will be a guy na nagbibigay ng mga advice about love. So, sikat lang muna yan and uh, we'll uh, you'll hear from us sa, sa future announcement namin. Let's end in prayer. Uh, I hope marami tayo natutunan ngayon and um, Let's pray for God's purpose. And by the way, guys, in the comment section, you can post your prayer request. We have a prayer team that we uh, we, we uh, uh, forward that to, and they'll pray for that. We'll be praying for that. We have a team, si Coach Miko and si Marvin will be praying for those prayer requests as well. All right, let's pray. Let's end in prayer. Father, we thank you for this after this morning, for giving us this opportunity once again to be with these uh, people. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa aming daily bread community for giving us, Lord, this opportunity to share the word, study with one another, and to learn, Lord God, your love and your goodness. Salamat po, Panginoon, because our purpose is attached to our Creator, which is you. So thank you, Lord God, because the very reason for our existence is to give you glory. And every time we move out of that purpose, we ended up abused, misused, and eventually useless. So, Father, help us. So, mga naliligaw ng landas, Lord God. I pray for these people, Lord, naliligaw ng landas ngayon, na medyo napalayo sa yung purpose sa buhay. I pray, Lord, they will go back to you because finding you is the starting point of finding their purpose. And, Lord, those people who are so driven, lalo na yung mga nasa abroad, and, and yung mga nandito rin, Lord God, they're so driven to pursue uh, uh, that, that purpose, in the worldly purpose, I pray, Lord, they're going to put a break to what they're pursuing and, and recalibrate their sense of purpose, their perspective. Is it aligned to you? Is it according to your plan and purpose? They're going to check out on spiritual people, Lord God, godly people, godly men and women, and, and ask for advice. Because the Holy Spirit in them will, will validate us, that. So thank you, Lord, for these people. Bless them, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. All right. God bless you guys. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, this is Pastor Jeff, your daily brag.